Hi, and welcome to another episode of The Average Joe Hockey Report. We've already gone over five players that have disappointed me so far this season. Now in this video, we're going to go over five players that have surprised me this season. At number five, I'm going to win pick Jets, Mason Appleton. Um, he did have a stint on the top six at one point and didn't fare too well. But now he, he's on the third line where he should be, and his production has been a bit surprising. 17 games, 13, 13 points in 17 games has been a surprise for me, and Appleton is one of the reasons why the Jets right now are on a, are, are on a hot streak. At number four, from the Boston Bruins, 19-year-old Matthew Poitras. This guy came from absolutely nowhere. He was selected in the... He was selected by the Bruins in the second round, 54th overall. And while he's cooled off a bit, while I think he's cooled off a bit lately, um, uh, you know, eight points in 17 games for a 19-year-old, pretty good. And again, he came out of nowhere. So, yeah, pretty impressive stuff. This this is for a centerman, too. The, the, as well, I mean, if you think about it too, you know, the team obviously lost, you know, Patrice Bergeron, David Krejci. So, if Poitras can actually be one of the one of the uh, future centers with the Bruins, it'll be quite the pleasant surprise if you're a Boston Bruins fan. At number three, and I did not expect this at all. I, at number three from the Los Angeles Kings, Cam Talbot. Uh... You know, like NHL analysts and whatnot, and even myself, we uh, criticized the Kings for the Cam Talbot um, uh, acquisition, but he's proven he's proven everybody wrong. Like we had very, I mean, there was very much some reason to be skeptical because he only played thirty six games for the Ottawa Senators, and he pointed posted a two point nine three goals goals against average and a point eight nine eight save percentage. But so far with the Los Angeles Kings, nine wins, three losses, and one and one loss out of regulation. And he's got a goals against of 2.02 and a save percentage of 0 .930. And is one of the reasons why the Kings are are um, uh, on the rise are 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 very competitive this season again. At number two, from the Vancouver Canucks, JT Miller. Now, don't get me wrong, JT Miller scored 32 goals in the last two seasons. But the alarming rate that he's scoring at right now, at one point he was the league leader. Now it's Quinn Hughes again, which is less of a surprise. But still, the fact that he's actually, you know, in the, the, the fact that he's actually in the scoring leaders is a very scary thought. It's on itself, and that's why I have him at number two. And he's, I would say he's also one of the reasons why, you know, the Canucks are, have been a very surprising team this season. And at number one, from the Florida Panthers, Oliver ekman Larson. Now, between ekman Larson and Miller, I thought about, you know, who to put at number one and who to put at number two. But this was a guy that got bought out. This was a guy that got bought out by the Vancouver Canucks, and it's a very expensive contract. And at one point, him and um, uh, Tyler Myers, they were the worst NHL D pairing last season in regards to regarding analytics. Here he goes, he gets bought out, he goes to Florida, has 11 points in 18 games, and Florida, like, the, Florida was doing this, you know, he's helped Florida who have been thin on defense at one point because because um, uh, Aaron Ekblad and Brandon Montour were both injured. Now they're back. And now, yeah, like, now, now, yeah, like, Ackman Larson has actually been, you know, a valuable addition to the Florida Panthers, which I would never have thunk that at all. And, yeah, like, now Florida is actually doing very well this season and yeah this video is basically based on opinion and may not have any implications on how these players 
continue on the rest of the season or how these teams continue on the rest of the season and whatnot. So remember, if I'm wrong, don't belittle me, educate me. Take care, everyone, and follow my Instagram account, The Average Joe Hockey Report, and my YouTube channel, Marty Tommy, in parentheses, Average Joe Hockey Report.